Hello folks, here we are on the Quebec countryside, a map created by the Do Pro Mapping. It is 66.3 megabytes to download and it says there is 5 required mods but in the map description it does recommend a 6th mod, the AGA pack, AGI pack. By the way, here are the required mods. The old cow shed for cows by Bart Snow V3 and Agro Team J Zuzo. Hall for Machinery by Ridge Star. The American Size Pot Pack by TK Farms. The USA White Farm Building Pack by Bernix. And lastly, the Metal Hall with Slider by Ica. So. So wait for that car to get past, not to get run over or sort of the map tour. So yeah, here we are, we're in new farmer mode. And first of all, in terms with slot count, so if we go to here, we've got a pickup for the map tour, so ignore that sec. So on new farmer mode, the slot count is 1098 slots. On farm manager and start from scratch, as you load in, it is 979 slots. That is the slot count with every other map included, just not the equipment. However, as you go around, there are five maps to look at. If you get rid of everything on all five farms and one building at the main town area, which we'll look at, you can get the slot count down to 758. But anyways, here on new farm mode. What do you start off with? So, start off with we got three medium tractors, two John Deere's, a 4755, 7810, and then lastly, we got a Massey Ferguson 3670. For the combine harvesters, we got the typical Deutz Far Top Liner 490H with pickups. Um, ignore the TNX, that's what we're using from the map tour as we go around. But you start off with a this is a pickup 1986. For trainers, you just got one, the Welger DK 115, Deutsch Far Top Liner 4090 header. For cultivators, you got the Robbie EG 3 9. For cedars, you got the Norschlein HK 25 plus NS 3030, so that is a power harrow, I'm guessing. And lastly, for the header trailer, it's got obviously the header trailer for the 4090. But anyways, here we are, and what we're going to be doing is go around the map. We're starting down south centre at the vehicle dealership. Got our pickup ready. And I think what we'll do is we'll head up across the map. Visit not one, not two, not three, not four, but five farms. The fifth farm is what you start off with on farm new farmer. We got fields two and three. And yeah, actually looking at the map, these are some nice fields, like having a look and the prices are not unreasonable. You get four sheet area, so like plot A7, 700 grand, and as you go around yeah, around four or five hundred grand, and this gets to small plots of forestry, down to like fifty grand. Even for the fields themselves, you're looking at around six hundred seventy grand at most. And yeah, for the farms, so the first farm costs fifty nine grand. Second farm costs you seventy two grand. Farm three, sixty seven grand. Farm 4, 46 grand, and the main farm, of course, being smallest at 30 grand. But yeah, you get a little picket of forestry areas, even like some little pockets of land. Like, if you want to start off with just a house and one field, or play with a house and one field, you can do that on this map. However, I did notice something so. Before we go on the map tour and actually drive around, I did notice as you get around to the periphery. So, obviously, 
your typical boundary, so this I'm not too worried about because unless you're actively looking like, outside the map, it doesn't really ruin the rhythm. However, I did notice, yeah, like, over here, as we're like right on the edge of the map now, like, yep, we're glitching, so yeah, just again, little minor details which. A little bit of an oversight, but considering as far as I'm aware, this is the Dual Pro Mapping's first map and first mod on FS22. Can't really complain, like, even though those little quivers of issues I've had, overall, this actually is a pretty good map, like, aesthetically wise, it is pleasing. And yeah, as you'll see, as we go around, the map does use a lot of assets already made, or well-known assets you'll see on the base game of FS22. Plus as well, the six required mods. I am going to say it is six required mods, because as you'll see, some of these silos are the Meridian silos, so of course, if you use those, you know you'll need the AGI augers and that. But yeah, so, start off with, got a farmhouse, which obviously you can rest up in that, got a workshop, that's, I think that's base game, actually it is a base game, so if we go to our containers, no sorry, our tools, so yeah, same assets as the base game, but, you know what, to be honest, I'm not really fussed about that, little things like that, doesn't really bother me too much, and again, but remember, this is the Duo Pro's first map, so I am willing to give some new base. And yeah, it's not me being overcritical, I'm just looking around the map and giving my honest review. <laughs> Simply about that, but see, so yeah, as you go around, like, obviously you're using the white farm buildings. And to be honest, when you combine the white farm pack along with the American size pack, you can't really go wrong, like... Oh, okay, we okay. can't access those, because we don't own the map. Or, not own the map, own the field, so... We're on the first map. Would that let us now use those? So yeah, as you are typically go around and see, with the white farm buildings, obviously you've got your tipper points and MTM for your buildings. And yeah, he even like sort of bells in here and that. So, like, this is a very good mod. This is I ain't gonna fault it whatsoever. And you got Bible silos. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so we've got some assets now, so we can't reset it. But as you look around, so we've got a cow shed with mineral pits. If you buy farm two. There is no animals. Farm 3 has got a large cow barn. It's got some fermenter silos to make, oh no, sorry, TMR silos. And a house. Farm 4, yeah, 4 has got cow sheds. Two cow sheds. And go to the main farm in, in a bit. That's where our equipment is. And cow sheds. So. But it is predominantly cows, and in terms with productions, you do start off with a fair bit actually. Like, these are what you get on new farm mode. So, you've got your two TMR large mixing silos, and you got your small and large fermenting silo. So, yeah, overall, not too bad, can't complain. Good way to start off with on a map. And yeah, as we go to our animals, so yeah. Cow shed, cow shed, cow shed, basically. All variations. But yeah, as you see, as you go around, like, the typical vibe of this map. Obviously, it's Quebec countryside, so French Canada and all that. French Canadian, sure, freeze that, but yeah, it's just like 
So decent sized fields like these fields for their price. Actually ain't that bad. And obviously with a fair few fields you do have plenty of options for contracts. So yeah, this is just what's on at the moment. So some harvesting contracts, not too bad, furs in and that. And again, can't really complain. And as we are heading on to farm three. So having a little look around, so you've got storage building here of sort your vehicles and that potentially. Base game cow barn. There you go. And yep, yeah, I'm not gonna go over these in details because one, it's base game stuff, and two, I'm pretty sure most people are familiar, but yeah, just in general, we just imagine someone play either let's play or just whatever. Start off with let's say this field here, and yeah, field 16 as well. A huge field in that. Really tankers and that. And uh, yeah, I know I gave a bit of smack about the textures and that of the terrain. But yeah, sort of slow down a bit, like edge of the roads, like proper dirt textures. And as we come around back to where we start off with in a bit, you'll see some like dirt roads and that, dirt paths and that. And yeah, just in general, nicely, nicely played, nicely placed details. I like the field shapes, the trees. It's just all it's cohesive, and again, it's based on a small town in real life. Uh, farm four, bit of a small farm now, so something a bit more laid back in that. But anyways. Here we are on the main farm you start off with. So we've got some lights and that. Oh yeah, we think let's go around over here, park up. So you've got your large tank snat. And in this shed is where all of our equipment is, I think. So have a look. So yeah, we've got our power harrow and cedar. Cultivator. Tractors and that traders combine. So yeah, that's where all of your equipment is stored off with. And again, with like the marine and full fuel tanks, buy twenty five thousand years at once potentially. And got your workshop trigger and your main pickup you start off with. So you get the map up. So yeah, next let's head up north a bit. And actually, take a small detour. And yeah, like some of these dirt paths, like. I was thinking this is just a short one by the looks of it. Obviously, like, you have these little bumpy dirt paths that leads you to other fields and that. But you can really get lost here, actually. Like. Easy to get lost whatsoever. So next, let's head up north. And yeah, this is where you sort of get into the thick of the bush, so to speak. Plenty of small fields up north and that. And again, yes, they're small. Just looking at something there. Before I miss something. So yeah, we'll turn right. But yeah, like map boundaries and that. Yeah, like stuff like this, I've got no issues with personally. It's it's a little things like, yeah, don't sweat the small stuff in that. But when you compare it to other maps and that, there has got to be that baseline standard in that. But that must be something I'll talk about later on in a different video. In that. But yeah, so head up north. Ah, yeah, you can. Proper let the roof down on this, like some nice, beautiful roads. Obviously, head a bit wide so you open the apex to the bend onto the long straight. And yeah, like 
plenty of forest shoot opportunities and plenty of foreign opportunities. Like, I'll say it's around 70, about 60 40 actually. 60% agricultural farming and 40% forestry potentially. But obviously, here we are into the main town area. And this is where I start having some problems with this map. Obviously with maps, I personally, again, this is me being honest, I, and I tend to, I'll say I voice what a lot of people think. With maps, I like to buy every single little bit I can get my greedy little hands on. Even, let's see, head down here. 62, a little bit of forestry there for 10 grand. However, as we head into the main town, you can buy forestry, so you can buy this, buy all of these little plots around, but apart from one little itty bitty plot area here, and that's where basically got the cooperative, and that costs 10 grand, so, so that is... So that doesn't include the debris crusher, so that is predominantly, if we have a look, so go to here, so yeah, that's just this, that's just your cooperative silos, and can you actually use this, I do wonder, so, alright, fair enough, you can actually use like, the green elevator and that, like your cooperative Green elevators and that, whatever. Yeah, I do forget like, how big these are. But as you see, around the town, this is where you can have all your production chains. So you've got your biomass heating plant. And actually, so you've got your fast food restaurant. But actually, can you purchase these? Like, Actually, I don't think you can. Wait a minute. I oh, know. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, you purchase and then can you demolish these buildings? And actually, does that mean no? So you can buy productions. Yeah, you can't put anything down. And that's my biggest right. Like, you can demolish buildings and that. Good. But, uh, yeah, you can't place anything down, there's no areas on the map where you can say, ooh, I want to create my own farm. Saying that though, of course with all the farms that you've been to thus far, you can remove buildings that are removable and you can create your own farm. Maybe not be the biggest of farms, but still. But yeah, it would be so good if, let's say, this area example just have this purchasable and then you can put your own cell points on if you wish or whatever you can put your own create a field even if you really want to but for me personally I'll put like me like productions down that's like honestly that's where I would go and actually speaking of which if we head down here there are 20 collectibles on this map. And I found one of them, which is just here, by the animal deer ship. And they are these. The game cartridges show things like No Man's Land, No Bay Rune. But I did notice as well, like, by the looks of that collectible, it's phasing through the map. Again, little details I'm sweating on here, but collect that and you get 50 grand as I expected. So, yeah, 50 times 20, oh, sorry, 20 times 50 grand, that gets you a million. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yes, it is a million. I, I was like, do my head, I was like, does that sound right? So actually knock down the sign. But yeah, and that's here through the town, as you sort start leaving the center production hub cell point area. You head into the urban area and like 
this is actually where I give props to the map maker, like, yeah, some of the assets used are repetitive, but they are slightly different in some way. They're not just copy and paste, cookie cut, here is one, I'm going to put down 20 of the same buildings down, like, that has not happened here. They do look similar, like, these two in front of me here, so, those two, they look similar, but they are different, and you have that in real life, so... That's thing I like as well, it has that harmonic balance. And again, I am, don't mean to go rambling on here, but I like to buy this error here, like, huge vast errors wasted. And yep, I get it, you can say, ooh, purchase this, have a staging area for your equipment, but the problem is, if you cut your trees down, you drag them out here, unless you've already pre-cut them in your own designated area, the game ain't going to allow you to cut your trees down even more in that area there, like... And that's the thing, that's my little gripe of it, that's the good and the bad side. So yeah, the bad side, knack off purchasing every area, so, some minor details with textures and that, like over here for example, but overall, at 5, I know at the moment as of recording this, it's around 3.1 out of 5 stars, for me personally, I'll give it a solid 4, like, it's a good map, actually sorry, 3 point, yeah, about 3.9, 4 around, it's hover around that 4 out of 5 mark. Yes, it uses a lot of same assets already used, but it's done in a way that makes the map look right. Looks good, suits the area and that, and that's what you really can look for in a map. It's like not every map's gonna be Court Farm, Comson Farm, Map by Oxygen David or Lancy Boy. So maps like this, simple. Only 66 megabytes to download, as remember. Compared to Court Farm, which is 880. Of course, that is because of assets and just different. That's just a complete difference there. Court Farm is Court Farm, but here we are on Quebec countryside. I'm focusing on this map, but. And that's the thing. That's the one thing I'll be doing with these map tours going forward is I'll provide you the good, the bad, and if I find anything, the ugly. I'm going to be brutal honest, don't like it, take it or leave it, but I am respectful to map makers, I'm respectful to modders, I'm respectful to map makers. I appreciate the work they've done on this. All I'm doing is just giving some constructive criticism. I'm not attacking the map, map maker, as remember, map is created by the Duo Pro Mapping. I'm hoping I purchase that, not purchase, pronounce that correctly. But, as far as I'm aware, I've looked on the mod hub on FS22, FS19, just to be sure, and it's our first map. So, for your first map, let's do a pro map in. If you're seeing this, I very much doubt it, but if you are, good job, simply put. And that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, if you enjoyed this video, if so, smash that button, feel free to come down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please stir. But, Reggie's do. Maybe I'll also stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.